Hey everybody, it's Andy from Andy's Travel Blog. Happy New Year to you, and we're gonna kick off the new year right with a brand new video series called Amenity Kit Reviews. And that's basically where we are going to take a look at amenity kits that you get during flights. So like an example would be like this American Cole Haan kit, and you get it when you're flying like a business class or first class, and so inside of these things, if you uh, open it up, so yeah, I, I, I travel a lot, and I am lucky enough to get to travel in a lot of like premium cabins, and so I have, well, quite a few amenity kits over the years. So I feel like I'm in a good place to review them for you and let you know what I think. So today we're going to kick off this new year and this new series with, where are they? These, the very exciting Qantas business class amenity kits. Now, I got these kits um, flying a business class from Singapore to Sydney on the Qantas A330 in their new business class seat. Now, that seat is phenomenal, and it's the same seat that they use in the 787-9, the one that's gonna go London to Perth nonstop. It's an excellent seat if I had to describe it in one sentence, and I'll post a link to my review of it below. If I had to sum it up in one sentence, it would be the best and most functional use of space I've ever seen in an airline seat, period. Phenomenal flight. Anyways, um, the, the stewardess, or the, sorry, the flight attendant saw that I was filming and I was taking pictures of everything. Um, so she gave me the male amenity kit and then she, you know, I guess she had some left over. She was like, well, do you want one of these as well so you can take pictures of it? Like, well, sure, that's not quite my color, but it's not bad. So uh, anyways, let's take a closer look at what's inside these things, and then we're going to give them away. All right, so here is the Qantas Amenity Kit. As you can see, it's very colorful, very unique, very different from the other kind of more monotone amenity kits. And this is the female version of the kit, although I guess you could really get either one if you wanted it. Uh, I guess by default, they give this one to guys. Uh, let's, let's open this one up and let's just kind of dump the contents all over the place. You're going to see kind of, there's not really a ton of stuff in this amenity kit. Other airlines kind of overload everything, but man, I just love that bag. Feels nice, feels professional, it's kind of like, it's plasticky, I guess, but it's it's nice, I guess, nice enough. So I have a little postcard telling you about the design of it, and uh, <laughs> I think what's funny here is that they have uh, the Qantas Snapchat little logo thing in there, which, depending on your feelings on Snapchat, that's could just be funny. It's, hey, if you want to see drunk pictures from your favorite airline, then follow Qantas on Snapchat. That's not what they say. That's just me making fun of it. Uh, okay, so let's look at the contents. We're going to start where we should all start, brushing our teeth regularly, twice a day at least. Something that's cool about their little Colgate and toothbrush kit is that they have the little like bristle protector on the toothbrush. So it's actually usable after the flight because you can throw it in a bag. You don't have to worry about it getting on anything getting on your toothbrush. So that's kind of nice. I've flown on enough of these to know that that's unique. Most don't have that. Then we have our standard earplugs. And then we have the socks. Now, these are standard black airplane socks. There's nothing really quantus -y about the socks. But, but I do tell you one thing, that if those socks looked like the design on the bag, then I would not be giving this amenity kit away. I would be keeping those for myself, and I would wear the crap out of those socks. Uh, okay, so up next we have Aspar, or Asper, or some, some, something, I don't know. Anyway, so uh, we open this up, and uh, okay, so these are the standard issue, like lotions and creams and all that sort of stuff. And I notice it also makes, uh, my camera doesn't focus on it very well. So anyways, we have like a sweet orange and lime sort of situation here, and then some some other, uh, a lot of these are sweet orange. I. If you love the smell of sweet orange, then then this is your jam. If if you don't, if you're against citrus, then then well, you may have some some issues with this. But anyways, they're the standard issue lotions. I didn't test them out or anything because I am giving this kit away, and that'd be kind of gross. Be like, hey, here's some used moisturizers or something like that. It's just, that sounds creepy. Anyways, okay, so now let's go to my favorite feature of the amenity kit, which is the eye mask. I love how it has the same design as the outer pouch looking thing. And I think that's a fantastic eye mask. Uh, so bravo to Qantas for that. And I think that's one heck of an amenity kit. All right. So I hope you enjoyed that brief look into the amenity kit. I really, really love the design. As you heard, the eye mask is fantastic. 
And even the little touches, like I love that the toothbrush has the little like travel like brush or bristle protector thing on it. So all in all, it's a great amenity kit. It's not the most reusable one in the world. This shape might be good if you have like an iPhone Plus. This is like the phablet kind of, or a Note, whatever, the Samsung like iPad mini maybe? Maybe an iPad mini would fit in here. But it's not the most reusable thing in the world, but it's good quality, unique design, and it doesn't like destroy you with like products inside of it. It has a couple things that will actually be useful to you on your flight. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna give this away uh, to you. We're gonna give both of these away. Uh, and the way we're gonna do that is actually gonna be on andystravelblog.com. So I will link to the post uh, below that has all the rules. It's open to US residents 18 years of age or older. Uh, so sorry, international uh, viewers. But anyways, I'll post a link to that below. But until next time, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you want. We're going to do some more amenity kit reviews. We're going to give some more of them away. Um, and uh, yeah, happy 2018. And uh, until next time, I guess, this is Andy from Andy's Travel Blog. We'll see you in the skies.